name is Kathy Imperato. My name is Barbara Mortone, and I'm a twin. See, my mother never knew she was having twins. She only thought she was having one baby. They never heard two heartbeats. So all along, everybody just thought that my mother was having one baby. And then surprise, surprise. I she, came. Barbara came. We always call her the placenta. And uh, <laughs> what do you call it? So when the doctor came out and said to my mother, you have twins. She said, I only came in for one. And he said, to her, well, you're going home with two. <laughs> Working with children, I realized with twins, because I've had many twins in my class, that there's always a dominant twin and a, and a quieter twin. And I have to say, Barbara was always the dominant twin. She always depended on me to uh, set up the play, whatever we were going to play that day or whatever we were going to do that day. And uh, when we were in kindergarten, I used to uh, help her get ready to go home. When it was time to go home, when it was time to go to school, she would physically put my boots on, put my coat on, button me, and I would stay in there. And one day, Sister Ian said, Barbara, Catherine will be late coming out because she's dressing herself. And my mother and I waited outside for almost two hours until she was all dressed. It took me two hours to get myself dressed. <laughs> Only recently, how many years ago, we found out that we're identical twins, but we're mirror twins. Barbara was always right-handed, and I'm left-handed. And I have lazy eye on my left eye. She has it in her right eye. So that's why they probably never heard two heartbeats, because we were facing each other. So uh -huh. where my heart is, her heart would be on that side. So they only heard the one beat. Barbara and I are not sports people. But we would always, like, uh, play together. We played games together. She always won. But we would always be outside playing with our friends. We always had a core friend that, you know, we were always friends with. And then we had our own separate friends, too. We, we always played with each other. We didn't need friends. We had each other. Which sometimes is hard with twins. Because it's hard for us to make friends. Because we don't need friends. We have each other. Barbara used to call me every morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now she doesn't call until 8, 8.30 because we're retired. <laughs> but even before we started working together, and we worked together for 10 years, J.C. Penney had 45 floors. Of course, I was in the purchasing department. They put her in accounting. Same floor, 40th floor. And everybody said, oh, that's going to be the kiss of death because, you know, working together, being together all day, you know, that, that's hard to do. But, you know, we did. We did. We worked together for 10 years together. And then we got married. And then we had children. But when we got married, we lived right near each other. Our apartments were right across the hall from each other. We used to open the door and we could, like, visit with each other without even leaving our apartment. It was great. And we had children around the same time. Our firstborns were three months apart and our secondborns were five months apart. So our great, uh, children were always very close with their siblings. Because really, it's like they have the same mother, but different fathers. Our husbands would go to work in the morning, and would, she would open the door, and she'd say to her little daughter, uh, Amy, crawl across the hall to Aunt Kathy. And she used to crawl, and we'd sit, and we'd have breakfast together, and we'd take them out for walks together. I mean, we would try to get together like maybe once or twice a week. And usually every Saturday night, we'd always go out for dinner with our husbands. So after that, we always went out together, partied together, vacationed together, got married six weeks apart, and uh, we've been close ever since. But we talk, to, we talk on the phone together constantly. If not, we're texting each other. Even if we're watching Jeopardy, and I have the answer and she doesn't. <laughs> we became fast friends.